five ra four rounds, and we're now into the last one. Thank you for being here. Uh, and we got a Phoenix deck. Oh Phoenix mirror match. My goodness. Oh my I got God. the glory. You got the glory. I got the Imperial. This is a preview of what the metagame is going to look like post this Disciple of the Void. No, because everybody's going to play the other Stronghold. No, I'm just saying it's going to be Phoenix oh, mirror matches. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mono orange. Mono orange. <laughs> Mono no orangey. <laughs> oh, that sounds not health, not child friendly. <laughs> Mono no. Mono no Phoenixy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be so many Phoenix. What do you. What do you think about it? Have you. You've seen most Disciple of the. Disciple of Void? Yeah. Has it been all spoiled yet? I don't think so, right? Soon. No, no, like it's not fully spoiled yet, but. I mean. I kind of don't want to get it, but I kind of do. What do you mean you don't want to get it? I don't play Phoenix, man. But it's got all the other... It's got the Scorpion Counterspell guy. Yeah, but I don't play Scorpion. <laughs> but, you, but see, somehow you don't play, like, Shaper or any Corp other than Wayland uh, and Neverrunner, but you still bought those Deluxe boxes, right? Okay, okay. You got me. You got me. All right. Uh, all right so while they're actually doing their mulligans, you want to talk about the standings? So yeah, for sure. Sort of yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. we have our cra uh, Crane Hatamoto in the first place with 40 points. Yep. <coughs> then we have the uh, Crab, the one we just saw, Shane, yep. when, when he went on. He got the final standings to get to second place. Yep. Then we have two Phoenixes, or we have one Phoenix and yep. two Phoenix in the top, top eight. Then we have uh, the Dragon Hatamoto in fifth place. Yep. Then we have another Crane uh Player that's in sixth place. Then we have two scorpions in the top seven and eighth place. And then I believe it goes down to um, the only clan that hasn't represented is um, Unicorn and Lion, where Unicorn is currently in 20th place. And then we have a lion that's, that's in. That's the top unicorn player? That's the top unicorn player. Potentially 12th, uh, 18th place or so. Yeah. And then we have the top lion, which is the other clan that's not represented in the top eight, which is, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, around 10th, oh, 11th to 12th place. Right. <clears throat> so depending on how well they do on their top, uh, in their last winning in match, yeah. they might go higher enough that they knock the other potentials out. But based on how it goes, regardless of however standings go, I can tell you this for certain. Um, Crane's in top eight. Yeah. Without a doubt. Dragon's in top eight, without a doubt. Yeah. We got Crab in, without a doubt. We got a Phoenix, without a doubt. We got yeah. a Scorpion in, without a doubt. And potential options are Lion taking the sixth, spot, take six, sixth clan spot. Yeah. And then the other two is going to be a buffer. Right. Of combination of any of those, but not Unicorn nor Lion. But we'll see how the results go. We will do a mini um, announcement of the how it goes before. Yeah. Now, uh, we did miss a few things. Now, <clears throat> there's a new card that came out. Um, he's got. A, she's got a very interesting ability, where she. Um, <clears throat> it's a master of Gishe Toshi. I had that up on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's not it's not something you actually see often on No, I know, but I had to actually yeah. clarify with a ruling question because uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know what uh, it did until uh, the interaction, right? Right. So like you make, you know, you say error, then no error or is it non error? Can't be played? Uh no. After conflict phase begins, choose a ring. While that ring is contested, this phase non spell events cannot be played. Oh, so you can still play spells, but just not. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was uh, like you just can't do any other. Interesting. So embrace the void just got played on uh, Shiba Sukune. <clears throat> no. Was Nothing. she gonna play it? No. Just disregard that image then. <laughs> uh, no, I think we were talking about like what potential could cards right. would be in this matchup. Yeah. Which is gonna be. Huh? I see that district card. I forget the the name of the Kanjo, Kanjo district. Kanjo district. Yeah. yeah. So, not something that's gonna be relevant <clears throat> on turn one. But that's gonna be important for whoever has yeah. it at the beginning, because that's gonna be really key on political. Interesting. 
Oh, sorry, I barfed a little. Oh, well, that is shameful display. That is. Anti- it's always, always the one. You, it's for some reason, <coughs> whenever I I do my first part, it's always the one you don't. Uh, it's the first one. It's shameful display is brutal in Phoenix. Yeah. <coughs> so. Interesting. It says no, def- no, no defenders defense. because he is against the wave. I believe. I believe she's a Shigenja. Shiba Sukune? No. Oh, the master of Shitoshi, yeah. I believe she is. I mean, that being said, it's hard to resist the uh, the honoring Sukune. <laughs> I know. But, I mean, you, but you know, I she, doesn't have any fate. Right? she doesn't yeah. have any fate on her, so, so that's why she doesn't want to... It doesn't matter if she honors it. Normally, the interesting part of Against the Waves is you ready your own guy. However, it's yep. got the other part. <laughs> I remember during the Winter Court, actually, that... Uh, that was a card that a lot of um, dragon players were playing. Yes. Because they were splashing Phoenix because they expected a lot of dragon players yes. in the mirror uh, playing Tagashi Kuni. And so they would just use it to bow their Tagashi It's Yukuni. funny, eh? Yeah. Yukuni is the only current champion that has a third subtype. <laughs> I believe most others are Bushi champions. <coughs> and. Sukuni also falls under the category, and she does not have a... Oh, that's interesting. All right, so here we go. Oh. Military water. And then just to force the block on the... <coughs> well, wait. That's not possible. Yes, thank yep. you. <laughs> Rewinds it, saying, I cannot do that. Yeah. But she's at four to... Four to zero. Yeah. And so uh, it's shameful display. I mean... This time, it's actually the one thing you want to hit because that's why he did the military conflict, thinking, okay, well, if I hit the shameful display, because uh, uh, because the uh, naive student can't participate, then <coughs> I'm really not in I danger. I agree. I agree. Now, however, that math changes if <coughs> if he had a character, oh but... Oh, my yeah. God. If, if Carl was able to break it, that would have been so sick. Oh, wait. Maybe he does. Oh, oh there we go. Jesus. And Who's he is it? interesting. He is paying it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you know, just in case, right? Mm. Just in case it gets dishonored, I suppose. I like that. But I yeah. like that. I assume he's stopping the first one so that the ability doesn't okay. even happen on all. Period. Right. So that was that a uh, that was a forged edict. Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just going to clarify if Carl did pay the honor. So I'll be right yeah, back. just double. Can yeah. you double check the honor totals? And have him uh, put the honor, whatever he has, counting the honor onto the camera. Yeah. So yeah, they're just verifying the uh, how much honor is on the table there. Twelve. Carl has twelve. Yeah. He did. He, oh, because he didn't actually get to resolve bonsai. So That's exactly right. And um, Will did give Carl an honor because he bid five and Carl bid zero. So that's why. Oh, it's gonna be brutal. Void and fire on our Sukuni. It's insane. Look at that. Ooh, look at these nifty tokens, eh? Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> Maybe he wanted to check if, you know, some other character would have ended up showing up, you know? Sorry, what are you answering? The kicking the bonsai. So for the benefit of people who are going to be watching this afterward. I'm just sorry. The, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. So Lingering Drama asks, why why would he kick the, the bonsai? And, I mean, yeah, it's not necessary, but maybe he's just paranoid. What if, uh, what if Will did happen to have one conflict character with one or X fate, and then, um, you know? Yeah, that's that would have been different too, right? So I believe Imperial Favor was set to political. Nice. Okay. Um, Where is the imperial favor? It's on political, just underneath the uh, his honor pile. Ah, okay. Oh my goodness, the Sukuni's just always gonna stick. Around. You know, this is like a very rare 
I know. Uh, game where I've actually seen Sukuni do a super relevant. Huge, yeah. Every time I play Sukuni, it just becomes. <coughs> oh amazing. my god. Wow. Kaede, I think? Mm -hmm. Isawa Kaede. Yeah. This is the, uh, the real Phoenix Quote champion. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. she has the Shugenja keyword. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I I don't put Shiba Sukune in any of my Phoenix decks anymore just because of the <clears throat> amount of times I've tried to play against the waves on her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, duping the Sukune. This board is uh, getting out of control. <laughs> yeah, Asako Diplomat. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, Carl's actually he's got another advantage which is that Forgotten Library drawing him a card every turn well yeah that's why and Carl bid four just to catch up with or yeah. he didn't need to go any higher because Will needs to keep up four to four they four? both drew four yeah okay. and uh, putting a having a uh, having a Forgotten Library on a shameful display in a Phoenix Mirror matchup oh my god it's like the best province to put it on. Now Carl just drew a keep a talisman. Talisman so, of the sun. So like, if if it does go bad, are right. you coming in with me? Yeah. That's so nasty. <laughs> Damn, that's nasty. Now I like what Will's doing right now. He needs to conserve his face so that when his characters are showing up, it right. can be a more impactful turn, and this incentivizes Carl to not do. Well, he can do other rings too, but so that if he does do void as is Sukuni's action, then right. like, why bother paying the fee? Right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so. so, first conflict. Gonna be. Mm. That's rough. Yeah, I, know. I mean, with. Uh, and you can't even put any fate on anything because of Kaede. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. You're right. Because, man, not only does KD can't be targeted by ring effects, that's so annoying. <clears throat> I mean, what do you think the MVP card is going to be in this matchup? It's going to be Cloud the Mind. <laughs> okay. So you think Cloud the Mind? Yeah. I think it's going to be. Um, well, it's going to be against the waves, too. No, well, the thing is, this is very interesting because both yeah. William and Carl are also playing different type of decks. So, yeah, do you know anything about the two decks? Do you want to <coughs> talk about them so, briefly? Um, so, Will's playing, like, a Phoenix and Scorpion with, like, Fate Worse and Death, 4G decks uh, and such like that. Then you've got Carl, on the other hand, he's going Value Phoenix with Crane, uh, a unicorn, with, unicorn with Spyglass, Spyglass, Spyglass Genju Gaijin Customs, I think it's called. Gaijin Customs. The one that yeah. readies if you have a unicorn card. So it just wants to keep the yeah. character going like, you just want to go full Voltron. Like, right. dragon it's style. A, it's a dragon version of a, <coughs> That's exactly of right. a Phoenix deck. Yeah, it's the kind of deck that I play too. It's, it's a deck that I think that won, a version of that deck won a, a 64 player Greek tournament in Greece. That's correct. Yes, yeah. you're right. Yeah, it was the, yeah. Now, I think Carl wants to try to put the, the other Impress to Void onto Kaede as well. And then Carl also, I think, drew a against the waves as well, so maybe he contest to go back up. But maybe he doesn't care because he just grabbed water yeah. and say, Yeah, for sure. Why Why do I care when I can? I mean, the, the, the thing about water is that it's not a, it's not a very appealing ring for Sukuni's trigger at That's the end right. of the turn, right? Yep. So. Okay, that's okay. I mean, uh, like, it's it's a little bit of diminished value for the embrace the void, right? Because you yes. can only trigger once per turn. Yeah, but still, I mean, getting yeah. value off of it still is still pretty good. I now know this it's is still like eight times. Right? This is eight military. Uh, got <coughs> eight military on Carl's side. Right. And being defended with one military. But of course, that's a courtier, so we're probably going to see something like a four shame or uh, some other courtier pressure here. So using the using the meditations of the town, and then there's a policy debate. Oh my goodness, a two yeah. two. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> it's like taking a gun to a knife fight. Williams, like look at my hands, like no, all the <laughs> cards. <laughs> not like this. I think I see another against the waves in Williams hand. Mm, that's gonna be very painful for him to lose. Yeah. So what's <clears throat> what he gets rid of? For shame for is shame? actually a good candidate. Oh, yeah. I saw a new card that I didn't know about. 
I see a supernatural storm. That one. What's that? That fifth card. Is that know the world? No. That one. Nope. The fifth card. Do you know what that is? Nope. We'll find out if he plays it. Okay. So yeah, the Force Shame seems like a really good card to strip here. You yep. don't wanna you wanna think the same way. Yet. Interesting enough, I don't haven't seen anyone use their stronghold yet. There hasn't been a huge necessity to No, I think um <coughs> no character got any glory until right. right now. Or no honor until right now. And both characters were bowed, so there was no point to boost to right. try to get the improv ever, right? Like Carl already not scored, but you know what I mean. Like but now that now that uh, Carl's seen his hand, I think he really wants to try to prevent uh, <coughs> William from getting the favor. Because between sure. the Kanja district and the censure I saw in his hand. Yes. Right, right. You just don't want to, at all, most cause, you don't want Will to try to get the Pearl favor where both Phoenix decks that yeah. we see most rely on that. So. so I see three dead cards and four dead cards in William's hand. By virtue of the three supernatural storms, because William really right. doesn't have yep. any. Yep. Shigenja and the center, of course. Province gets broken. Uh, the magistrate gets discarded. Bow the other. Yep. So we're going to see if he remembers to resolve the water rate. Yeah, <coughs> standing kite. Yep. That's the obvious play. What, like, exactly. Like, are you going to just ready a. Uh, or path over the naive student. Yeah. No. Now, now naive student probably has a free attack here because he's. I don't think Carl's going to defend. But on the other hand, like, I think Carl, William just wants to hang it back to defend so he can use uh, stuff like the court games I see in his hand. Right. But no, maybe he decides instead he wants <coughs> to try to race Carl. I don't know how well that's going to go, but you're right. That is an option. So, political. Searching, searching. So, we're going to go political. What was that, void? Yeah. Political void. Public Looks like forum? fertile, fertile no, fields? No, no, no. Public forum. Public forum. Thank you. No worries. I know it, the glare makes it, the yeah. part not readable, but yes, it is public forum. Now, when this card initially came out, I was <laughs> such a big fan of it. You're like, really, you, you you've changed your mind on this card? Yeah, I mean, all the Pathfinder blades and cautious scouts. <laughs> no, but like the the dragon deck that I saw here today wasn't right. even running Pathfinder blade. Mm -hmm. uh, the other dragon that is here isn't even running that either. <laughs> I mean, against the current meta. I did not expect this to happen. We can do end like yeah. end game or end round um, commentary. But. Here we go, Spyglass and Kane. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. <coughs> Can you do me a favor and check, just ask a Carl how much honor he has right now? Carl? Yeah, how much honor he has. It looks like it's 11, but 11? I'll, I'll, okay. I'll confirm. Yeah. So this is a Know the World. This is another card that doesn't actually see a lot of play. Um, yeah, doesn't see a lot of play generally. So he swaps the rings. Uh, I think definitely looking to deny the fire ring from Carl, either through Shiba Sukune's trigger or the uh, any sort of attack by Kaeda as well. So started the, started the turn with 12, but forgot to remove. Yeah, Thank that, you. that's what I wanted to check, because the previous <coughs> yeah. conflict was unopposed on Carl's side. I thought Void was taken. Yeah, he just played Know the World. Uh, William played Know the World to, to deny him so the fire ring. So it was Know the World that we, that we saw earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> I like that. That's the card I saw earlier. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Kayeda with a spyglass, it's five, six. Oh, it's going to hurt. Fifth. It's going to hurt. Unless if this is Seeker. Shrine Maiden gets Whoa, played. Oh, nice. 
She like makes cards come out, right? Answers at each spell in Kiho. Yeah. Is Fate, Wars, and Death a Kiho or spell? I guess we'll find out in a second. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is it a may or a must? What do you mean? No reveal. It must be a must. It, it, it's a must, right? Did he reveal it? I don't think he did yet. I think he's counting to see. If he the he might even that. he might even decide to not to trigger the effect on the shrine maiden. Okay. So we'll see what happens. I guess he didn't trigger it. That's a no. Unless we missed something, we were temporarily distracted. So. Sorry about that, but I don't know if uh, I don't think he did. Yeah. So policy debate, easy peasy. Easy Lemon peasy. Squeezy. Give me that one. <laughs> Takes oh. the court games. I would have taken the against the no, ways, no, no, actually. No. Uh, he ended against the ways? Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. The only reason why I think Carl wanted to take out the court games is because he can do the shameful. Yeah. And then if Carl wants to do a, a court games back, he can try to do a... Right. Or he could have his own... Okay. So, I don't uh, know what Chayde's value is. See? That's why. Because uh, Carl, yes. Carl didn't want to lose the... Uh, Thank you. So, six... Six versus one, right? No. Oh, it has no glory? Should I make it has no glory? Nope. Okay. So I guess I guess uh, Will could boost his glory up to two to not get it to break. That's true, yeah. Let's see yeah. if William remembers that. Also, I mean, it's, it's, fairly, it's pretty odd that William decided to put a fate onto the Shrine Maiden knowing Kaida's ability. Also... Sukuni also has done his her either so there yes. is going to be a, like <coughs> yeah so actually it looks like he does remember so we've got <coughs> so it goes to three actually four right because it's uh, oh sorry three you're right three so three three to six Oh, is Shrine Maiden a Shugenja? No, it's a monk. Oh. But we're going to see a Talisman of the Sun drop down, so that's going to put Kaede to 7. Yep. Or rather, the strength to 7 political. Oh, I see, because Carl has Supernatural Storms to go back up to 8, if necessary. I like that. Yeah, And yeah, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see a Supernatural Storm here, play. Mm -hmm. Whoosh. No, but that this is curious because he's unless Carl has a oh looks like he did break it yeah damn so not only is Carl gonna be gaining oh stealing one honor yep and using Kaede's ability which is so breathtaking that's so insane yeah I mean sure Sukuni's leaving this round but mm -hmm. look how much damage she already did. Right? And now, and now Carl's going to get the... Uh, Imperial Favor again. Yeah, Imperial Keep Favor. It. And here's oh. an Embrace of Void on Kaeda. He's, he's going to get a lot of money. Well, not a lot he's of gonna money. Get he's going to get one dollar yeah. this turn. Well, you got two as well yep. from the other time. So. so now he's triggering Sukune's ability at the end of turn. He's going to trigger the Earth and the Void. Void doesn't do anything. And I think that what they're what they're <coughs> trying to figure out. But yeah, so I think they were just discussing on if they have to use Sukuni's two uh, rings. I see. So like if it was uh, mandatory. Mandatory. I see. So you're saying like if he couldn't resolve the void ring, he couldn't resolve any of the effects because you have to resolve two rings, or? Yeah, I think that's what Will I was see. just asking yeah. is. Do you have to do the right. rings if the yeah? We can pull up what Sukuni's text is, but I assume yeah, that's what. Uh, up to two. Up to two. Thank goodness. Otherwise, Carl would have had to lose a few, another feed off of Kaede, but Kaede is also immune to ring effects. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. 
<coughs> so, excuse me. <coughs> William has ten do- ten fate. Uh, so but, Carl. Yeah, but <coughs> William has no board. That's the problem. And two provinces broken. Uh, that's a character you need. Okay. Of the waters. Yeah. Is that what the it's called? Prodigy of the Waves? Prodigy, Prodigy of the Waves is... Keeper of the Waters. <laughs> yes. You know, it, I know it's a it's basically a Phoenix and Ten Adept, but I think it's way more annoying than oh, I agree. Ten Adept. I yeah. agree. I would say, you know, like, if you would say uh, Kaede is like your general, yeah. Sukun is your, like, um, captain or whatever, right. and Prodigy is your lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the trifecta. And then follows it up with a naive student, one fate. Oh my goodness, now that, uh, now that Kai Sukuni is gone, mm-hmm. Will's like, I just want to put more fate in. Put more fate. Well, he plays the meddling mediator. I would have probably passed, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> you already committed enough more advantage to. Uh, yeah. So, what do you think? Three? What? Oh. They seem to agree. Wow. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the master. <laughs> no, man, you're the master. <laughs> when we both play, oh, yeah, it's always yeah. a freaking, like, if I know Scorpion, it's like, yeah. all right, here you go. Here's your feet on her back. So, burst of wood on William's side. Huh. I wonder how the timing works if you put a burst of wood on there. It actually, it depends on who's the first player. The, uh, fir- right? the first okay. player resolves yeah. their effects first. Yeah, so that you don't yeah. get the... Yeah. Of course, since first player changes turn to turn, like yep. if if a, if a character has multiple fate Aww. on it, like, I told you that's the MVP. Clap the mic. Uh-huh. <laughs> MVP. You card. do not know the way. <laughs> <laughs> I never freeze. <laughs> so now with Cloud the mind, that makes uh, Prodigy Wave an overcost at three three. <laughs> well, two glory, so yeah, if and she ever gets uh, honored, then... And it was Scorpion, right? You said it was Scorpion that he was playing, I think, there. Yeah, so the third calling... Uh, sorry, the third against the waves, I think, just got played. Yeah, well, against one got the, tossed, but you're right. Yeah. But but you, technically, you're right, you're right. Yeah. I know we, what you meant. We do see it <laughs> against the waves in Carl's hand. Oh, but, yeah, instead no, thank says, you. Yeah, we got a censure. Mm-hmm. Censure is one of those cards that um, I just I can't decide if it's good or not, which probably means it's good card design because yeah. you, you don't want to include three of them because you don't want to draw them in your opening hand. Even my crane deck only has two. Yeah, but it just feels so good when just you have the Just on the favor. odd chance yeah. you don't have the favor, then you're right. like, uh, okay. Yep. But yeah, it's uh, when I initially read the card, I thought it was, oh, maybe you have to discard the favor to counter the ability. Right. But no, it still sticks around. <coughs> so we're just going to see a political conflict here, political earth, most likely. I mean, I don't want to go for water anymore. <laughs> <laughs> also, it has no fate. Public for Defend? Yeah, why not? I mean, Maybe the thing, thing about attacking public forum there is that it's a fairly low risk in terms of... No, like, of course. I but mean, the it's, problem it's is not Talisman likely, says, what's up? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know what you mean. He probably yeah. just did it at an unrevealed <coughs> promise. It's like, yeah, if it becomes a danger, then he'll just move me. So what was that? An Orne fan got played mm-hmm. on the Osaka Diplomat? Oh, funny. So that's five political versus two. So it it turns out it might even just be a chump attack. (coughs) I see another know the world in uh, in William's hand. That's a very interesting card that I remember when I first started the game. Yeah. Was, huh, what an interesting card, you know? Hiya. Crunch. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> now that uh, good thing that Carl didn't send uh, Bill over to uh, Shameful Display. Right. <clears throat> good restraint on Carl there. Thinking that something was going to happen. Supernatural storm. So we got three <clears throat> to zero. Three to zero. So the yep. public form is breaking, quote unquote. 
Uh, Carl loses one honor for being undefended. Mm -hmm. And uh, Harmonize gets discarded. Oh, okay. Now, did you see if Carl lost an honor there? Yes, so he moved the honor that he had onto yep. public form. Ah, okay. That's actually a good... That's a good way to do that, I, I guess. I can confirm, because that's relevant. That's oh, we can do that later. Okay. I'll do it right now. All right. So it, it looks like he didn't. Yeah, I thought he did. But he's actually at 12 because he gained an honor from Sakuni leaving. So now he's at 11. 12. No, he's at 12. Including the honor loss? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. My bad. No, I, I mean, I didn't realize he didn't move it. It's the way he's stacking his honor. Know, it just makes it, it really looks, hard to, uh, yeah. to see how much he has. So I guess now Carl is uh, basically he can <clears throat> a very menacing Kaeda could potentially go for fire, dishonoring, either dishonoring uh, the prodigy or honoring himself. And instead chooses to go for a meddling mediator first, doing a fire conflict. Political? Yep. Manicured garden? Manicured garden got revealed, yes. Hmm. Interesting. Do you go for the... There? It's got zero three, right? The mediator? Yeah, so he's got four strength. So he's breaking, so which is kind of forcing William to do something oh, here. Man. And then Kaede's like, what's up? I'm just gonna casually go walk in. <laughs> and just wreck it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it? Fine. Like, that's the double edged sword, right? Like if you defend here, then Kaede is just gonna walk in and destroy it afterward. So you maybe you just want to um, let this happen as yeah, or or that too. I mean, like, I guess you could go actually stop it and then force Carl to go in again. Right. But I do not like. <coughs> this was a very weird uh, <coughs> matchup. Like that turn one. I don't. Well, I don't want to be too biased, yeah. but that was very uh, like unfortunate for Will. Like he just couldn't like could like fine. He had a way to stop Sukuni to yeah. leave another turn, but still like. You know, normally, turn one Shiba Sukune by herself is not a very good play. There's Unless, so many. It's yeah. so many ways that that play can go sideways. Like, just simply dishonoring her, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But it, it uh, seemed to work out for him. Well, it looks like he is gonna let the. Uh... Yeah, he he has to do it. <coughs> I think. So we're just gonna have to. Yep. He yep. remembers to remove the post. Honor. So all of, a, all of a sudden, he's sitting at four honor. Crazy. Four honor. I'll take strongholds wide open. Now, Carl can't even, or Will can't even uh, do another conflict because. Uh, no. Because then I the just comes mediator in. Mediator as well. Says, give me your honor. Yeah. If you do a second conflict. <coughs> now, while he is sitting at four honor, I don't know if honor pressure is necessarily the way to go here, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, I maybe maybe Carl wants to fate instead. That's true, he is low. Now, this this also highlights kind of the, I guess in the mirror match, having a voltron -y Phoenix deck with a bunch of big guys mm -hmm. might be better than the Scorpion. Now, that it just might be unfortunate that he didn't draw any of the Fate Worse and Death, because I think if he did, that would be huge. Mm -hmm. I think it, maybe it just came down to him not having that premier Scorpion card, right? Of course. So Maybe he, now Will does have it in his hand now that you want just attacking yeah. with it. Now he's doing a void <coughs> conflict. It might have just been to do the to get the money. So, but I hope he hasn't done this with the expectation that he gets to remove a fate from Kaeda. No, he decides to do water instead. Three. So three. I mean, if he does win it. He does get uh, he does get a keeper initiated play, but and I don't think Carl's incentivized to defend this. Wins this, not only he gains a play, yeah. he gets a keeper. But then he get he has a bowed Kaeda. <laughs> yeah, 
which I think you, you just want to go after the stronghold, right? You just yes. want to pressure the stronghold. But no, he defends. He defends with a total of six, seven. No, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? So, how much glory does Kaede have? Three. So seven already herself. One from. This is a military conflict. So she has three military strength plus three. Oh, I'm looking at political, man. Right. You're supposed to tell me. Oh, I can't tell. No, <laughs> your interface is too bad. <laughs> Blame Travis. This is monitor. This is crappy monitor. <laughs> oh, pass the buck, wait, no, Chip. Passing the buck. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised, Carl. <clears throat> Unless he has a against the waves in his hand, then I'm not surprised at all by this. Play. He might have also Gaijin customs too. Oh yeah, that's true. Like you mm -hmm. said, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's one of the big draws of playing uh, Unicorn Splash in Phoenix. It's build your own Niten Master. <laughs> <coughs> so I, I mean, I'm not even sure what William does here. Maybe, maybe he's now regretting going for that public forum but That's you know in a way I can kind of commend it too just I mean what are you going to do just sit back you sit back defend win. forever now you, you could make the argument that like you know just try to spend as little fate as possible this turn just make sure you don't lose the game and then next turn you just play a bunch of guys but the problem is um oh Benton's touch so Benton's touch bowing <coughs> itself honoring itself Oh, wow. Okay. So that was very interesting. I wonder why he did that. Huh. Could it be that? No. We know he's not playing Voice of Honor. So Carl remembers oh. to trigger the meddling mediator. So he might be taking a fate here, looks it, like. I feel like Honor's better. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, okay. And he takes it from William, yes, right? Yes. So that's important too. Yeah. Um, now he's not going to keep him off. Uh, it's not, he's not going to keep him off fate worse than death money. I wonder if he's going to. Yep, there he goes. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, he remembers everything. Mm -hmm. Unlike it's me, I don't, I don't remember no, no, keeper no, no, no. triggers. Yeah. He doesn't remember the honor losses. The honor loss. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yes, you're <laughs> right. You're right. Man, I that took me a while to get remember too. The keepers yeah. and seekers. Yep. And I remember I had to keep reminding you every time with the Seekers. Seeker Avoid. So, so I think this... I, now I can understand why he actually did that defense. Because he knew he was going to get the Keeper. And now he just chump attacks with the Keeper. He reveals along the river the, along the river of gold. See what I mean? This strong. is the point where... Why did we... God, let's go for honor. Now he's at three. Then he went to two. Yep. For sure. I like this, though. I still like it. It looks like he's trying to pressure on both points. So uh, if he does get this, yeah, and it looks like he does, he's going to steal an honor, and he's going to make him lose an honor. Yeah, there we go. So uh, one for William and minus two. Sorry, minus two for William and one for Carl. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, at this point, I don't even know uh, how Will's going to get back. Yep. Because Will can no longer bid high. Carl is always going to get card advantage. But Kaede finally only has... Oh, that's... Uh, Supernatural Storm of Government? Yeah, right unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, card to reveal, but still. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, it's a dog. What's a dog, Sung Ho? I don't see any dog on the table there. <laughs> no, there's a seeing eye dog over there. Okay. All right, so uh, on to the next turn. Kanjo District got revealed on Carl's side. Oh, that's going to open. Yeah, that's good. That, I think that, that's the final nail in the coffin. No, also, Carl also has a meet, uh, order, I think it's called. Radiant Order? Radiant Order, yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt too. So yeah, let's let's bring that up as well. Radiant order. I mean, I think you're also forced to play the 
Yeah, you can go too. So yep. make sure that. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at that board! Yeah. Like, one cool. one way or the other, he's gonna. He's oh, gonna. So that's a. Uh, uh, Asako Suki. The water yep. scholar, I think she is. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think she would have been a lot more strong uh, a few turns earlier. <clears throat> yes, but I agree. You gotta, you gotta defend with what you have. You gotta do with the cards you're dealt yep. with. <laughs> you can't just say, I need this. Whoop, appears. It don't work like that. So here, I think you just do an all-in uh, political attack. Yeah, political, water, yep. everybody. You, you have Conjure District, so you, you can use well, that. not only you have Conjure District, once the water ring gets claimed, even yep. if he loses, he can ready his right. energy and then go again. Mm -hmm. Now, he does have a that water province to s do your Yunako switch. Right. But that can only do so much. Yep. I mean, can shrink the mailing mediator to zero, but yeah, like I said, negative three is probably not enough to... Uh, well, William is going to lose his Yojimbo and whatever his best character is going to be, which is probably the... I mean, I mean we're, we're thinking ahead here, but... Of course, of during course. During the conflict. But of course, the uh, dynasty phase is not over, so William decides <coughs> to round out his defense with an Asako diplomat. Carl passes the turn. Bid five. Yeah, I knew it. At this point, Carl's just like, I don't care if you have honor anymore. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna break your, turn, yeah, right? I'm gonna break your province. Yeah, no, break your stronghold. Sorry, break your stronghold. Which well, gives by breaking your province. Points. <laughs> yeah, which gives them nine million points. Tiebreakers. But you have to count that out, right? Just to make sure you actually have the nine million oh, points. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Otherwise, how else is gonna? <laughs> All right, let's see what. I wonder. I wonder if Carl drew any counter spells. He does have the favor. Yeah, it feels nice to have board or, or library turn one the yep. whole time. Yeah, it's always a free card on a shameful display. Like I said, right? <gasps> best, best no, player. That is that is some nasty, nasty ice or ice. Ice. <laughs> it's it's not the ice ring song. It's the water ring. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> I'm surprised. Uh, all right, now, now I actually have to count out all this strength. So let's see here. We've got. Okay. Uh, so Kite is no longer four. honor. Or no, she is. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19? Okay. I could double check, but. Let's, let's go with 19. <laughs> Let's Correct me 19. if I'm wrong, yeah. chat, but I think it's 19. Unless if I'm like, if I cannot, what's Radiant Order stat? 1, 2? Sorry? What's Radiant Order stat? 1, it's, 2? It is a 1, 2, yeah. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> Carl is verifying the math. Oh, he's also drawing cards off his black glass. He had two Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, 20, actually, with Imperial Favor. Oh, thank you for catching that. Yes, 20. William, I guess William's asking, do I even have enough on the table to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> mm, maybe yeah. he does. 19. I think they may, may be missing the Imperial Favor. All right, let me just double count again. Or, or I mean, it doesn't. We'll, we'll, one, we'll figure it out once that happens. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty. <coughs> and we got on Will's side. Looks like thirteen. So he's going to start with a shameful display. Or sorry, four shame, which is going to remove three strength. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, that puts it within four, so he's not breaking currently. But again, right, this is like... No, this is important because yeah. now they don't think they have the right number, but... yeah. Should I go tell them? Because that might be bad. Well, well, I mean, we're not <coughs> going to interfere if it's simply a misrepresentation of the strength. Right. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. So this might be Carl asking how many cards he has in his hand. Man, I really wish I had a table mic. <laughs> I know. All right, so yep, th- yeah, yeah, there we go. Yep, now, now they've counted it. They must have heard me. <laughs> Yeah, Dominic Ottavio says Carl has it. I think we tend to agree. Uh, he has two pieces of control uh, that we know on the board, which is a Radiant Orator in the Kanjo oh, District. yeah, because Carl also has Supernatural yep. Storm, so that's like... Yeah, he just, he just has to remember one of the first control piece needs to get rid of the Yojimbo. Um, now, is it your choice of countering the ability? Yes. Okay, so like you you don't have to like waste it like a Casada or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Oh my. Now, why did he go for Void instead of, like, Earth or something? Or Air? Well, he went for Void because it was the only ring that had money on it. Oh, that's right. Right? So if you, if you don't care about the ring effect because you're going to win the game, you might as well have as much access to money as possible. Who knows? That one extra or two fate might be enough to uh, right. be critical. But, oh man, this is going to be tough because we need to know if Will never saw his... Um, now we're gonna have to be careful to see if uh, when he triggers the along the river of gold. Mm-hmm. Sends it home, goes minus five. So did he actually use the orator there? Yes, he did. Okay. Interesting. He and chose not to stop it. Yeah. But I guess he doesn't want to get hit by Kondo District. That's even worse. Perhaps. Well, I mean, the thing is, you have to like, you know, he has two control pieces. You're gonna. You're going to need to cancel something. Because the problem is, now he can send home the Yojimbo. Mm-hmm. Right? Because anyway, longer, he can send yeah. home the Yojimbo anyway. I get that. Uh, you're right. Yeah. Benton's touch. That's why he didn't care. Ah, very clever. And he used that to honor Suki. To go to plus two. Yeah. Unless if... Oh, the knife student. It's either bow or... <laughs> The bow or so this was a four shame on the naive student. That's right. Yeah, you gotta bow this guy. You can't afford to. Uh... So that's a bow, and so that's another minus two. Mm-hmm. So down to eight. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> so a break. Excuse me. Right now, definite break. <coughs> and so. So it looks like he's going to trigger the along the river of gold, targeting the uh, meddling mediator, which is going to reduce the strength by three. So still still breaking, I believe, as he is uh, within six. So there needs to be something else that he's going to do. So here's another for shame, targeting the Ajimbo, and that's going to be minus two because uh, that thing gets tapped. And uh, unless William has some kind of board sweeper, which I don't think is in the game, it might be curtains. But what he's going to do now is he's going to bow his stronghold, actually, and uh, give a Suki plus two glory. And that's going to be responded by a court games on <coughs> Carl's side. And that I think it. that's going to be it. Yeah. So that's congratulations so, to Carl. Carl showing that <clears throat> perhaps the uh, the the imitation Dragon Phoenix deck. <laughs> I think no, it was just the I, I get it. Yeah. Um, like uh-huh. I said, I don't want to be biased again, but sure. Will didn't see his um, Forgotten Libraries either. He right. See, uh, that's true. He didn't see his uh, fate worse than death. Fate worse than death, and I think that's the important thing. Yeah. It was just that you need to stop these big, big characters. Yeah, for sure. No, I. And he, completely. And Carl and Will Carl did break two provinces super early too. Right. Right. Like. <coughs> no, I, I agree with you.